Another central idea of the 1990s approach was that violence against women was a matter of power. Until the late 20th century, many analyzed male violence as lack of impulse control, the boys will be boys argument. Feminists challenged this perception, clearly setting the framework with the United Nations Declaration on the Elimination of Violence Against Women, which states in its preamble, recognizing that violence against women is a manifestation of historically unequal power relations between men and women, which have led to a domination over and discrimination against women by men. Sexual harassment legislation, which also addresses power imbalance, the ideas and the law also came from this period. Perhaps the greatest manifestation of the discussion of sex and power was the discussion of sexual violence during wartime. The famous Akayesu judgment of Rwanda, the tribunal states that sexual violence is an act of a sexual nature which is committed on a person under circumstances which are coercive. Though the judgment was modified by the appeal court introducing an analysis of consent, in recent judgments, the International Criminal Court, the notion of coercive atmosphere has re-emerged. The centrality of power analysis with regard to women's rights has its consequences. Confronting and dismantling acts of power requires strong laws and a commitment to structural change. Much of the advocacy of that period was about getting legislation in place, compelling the criminal justice system to gear up and train its members to strengthen and protect women victims. Mm -hmm.